No, no, no. People will all see the Bentley. No. The Bentley. The go look at the average view count of every Bentley video. There's no, no way. one cares about a 720. I have a major reveal. I was going to start the whole video with this epic shot of our favorite vehicle on the fleet. Outweighs the 720 GTR and the Bentley. Fair. It's the Carrera Van GT. It is However, massive. we have a bit of a master debate right now. See, Dave's got some upgrades for the Bentley. He wants to use that as a reveal. And yeah. I said, no, the 720 GTR, you guys, is finally done. The car that feels like it's never going to be That's done. That's pretty cool. Right? It's been a journey, you guys. We're getting there. And we're also closer. So let's go and reveal the 720 okay, we'll GTR. 720 and then the Bentley added a massive, massive change to the yellow wheels. Well, you'll see when we get there. Can we please go eat? What are you Just doing? Just give me a second. I'm doing my picks with For Underdog Fantasy. For what? Dude, the NFL is back this week. And my boy, Travis Kelsey, is going to crush it. Well, I want in on that. Huh. Big football guy now? I have never touched a football in my entire life. Shut up. No, nothing. Ever. We're about to change all that. Come with me. Oh. Oh my Hang on to this. The NFL season is finally here, and our partner Underdog Fantasy wants to make it more exciting. Dave Catch. Join the million fans that played on Underdog last year. With their pick'em game, you can win money by making sports picks. Dave, you ready? What, we're not done? All right, lesson number one about football. I'm Travis Kelsey, and you're gonna catch my balls. Yeah! And I got it! Open, 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 open! Over here, over here, over here, over here, over here, over here! No, over here, damn it, over here! Open, I'm open, I'm open, I'm open! Oh, it's time to turn those takes into cash by going higher or lower down on player stats, like touchdowns, receiving yards, interceptions, and much more. Let's go, buddy. All right, listen, you gotta strap in, soldier. This is war. I'm trying my best. Don't hit it your head in the game. Make entries of all NFL picks or mix and match across your other favorite sports. You could win up to a thousand X your money. Underdog is available in 30 plus states, including California, Florida, Texas, and even Canada, which is not a state, it's a country. I love that. Let's try the thing with the feet because the thing with the hands isn't going so well. Stings. Field goal, all you gotta do is kick this ball between those two upright. Just like that. Son of a bitch! All right, guys, here are my personal picks for the first week of the NFL. Two amazing teams. So we're going with, first of all, my boy, Travis Kelsey. I'm going to say that he will go higher than 9.5 in the first quarter as far as receiving yards go. I'm also going to go with Lamar Jackson and say he will also go higher than 1.5 passing touchdowns. And I think it's possible that Patrick Mahomes will get 1.5 more higher in passing touchdowns. Am I right? Am I wrong? I guess we're going to find out. By the way, I'm going all in. 2,000, baby. <laughs> Underdog has a Travis Kelsey free pick now live for all customers. Ah, Travis is so dreamy, so burly, so toit. Underdog also has a Thursday 30 for all customers this Thursday. Apply a profit boost token to the entry of your choosing to get a 30% profit boost. Sign up now and deposit using promo code DDE to get up to $1,000 in bonus cash. And it, oh, God, the ribs! And a Travis Kelsey free pick. You, uh, you wanna hit the showers? Let's do it, buddy. Clean. Thanks. PFS. By the way, PFS is actually closed. So Jason's doing us a solid by showing up on his day off. Right here, right here in front of us. I know it is. <laughs> Took his parking spot. Hey, how's your day off going? I'm just watching DD on my drive. My uh, man. How you doing? What's up, guys? What's up, man? Long time no see. So hey Jason, how are you? Let's go, bud. How are you? Good this to see is, you. This is a holiday. It Memorial is. Day? Uh, Labor Day. Labor Day. Labor Day. You can't wear white after Labor Day. You can't wear white after Labor Day. No, it's not white. It's tan. It's tan. I'm f Canadian. Yeah, we always were. It's also Labor Day in Canada, by the way. Just, just so you know. Same holiday. Open this thing up. What? 
Really? Your car's not up oh, there. Yeah. Is that the roof ladder? Yeah. Oh. Do you want to see the car? Yes. I'm super excited. I know these guys are excited. Everybody's been waiting what seems like forever for this car to finally be done. Damn. Bro. What are your thoughts? You like the boat? Too small. That's sick. It's actually really crazy. What do you think? Brings back memories. Yeah, it's wild. Jason, do you like this? I love it. I love it. Color, the everything came together, it's sick. This car has been through a hell of a journey. A hell of a journey. And now, multiples. You need to get the motor in and put a bunch of miles on a road trip. So you need to drive this car. I agree. Thank you. It's not good. By the way, yeah. Jay. You have a problem with paying your hydro? I don't think we paid the electrical bill. bill or one. Why is it doing that? I don't know. Let me get this open. Let's sort out, let us sort out the lighting Let's before we lighting reveal, reveal the car. Dude, that is pretty freaking tight. I caught him on an elephant. That's what she said. Hey? Damn. Now, the irony is the new Lamborghini to Mario, which we just saw during car week, happens to have a twin turbo V8 in it. This car is supposed to have a twin turbo V8 in it, and we'll get to that. We're gonna go and bug the ever living shit out of Alex at Quintani because he said two weeks, two and a half weeks ago. So the motor should be back soon. In the meantime, we're here to do a reveal, aren't we, Dave? Yes. So what are your thoughts? You're gonna make a suggestion. I like the booty shot. The booty so shot. So we're starting in the back. You guys obviously have seen a little bit of it, but you haven't seen it like this. It is f nuts. It is really crazy. It's completely come together. But first, we got to give a huge shout out to Jason and the whole team here at Protective Film Solutions because this car was a lot of work. Just like putting the kit on, wrapping the kit, and taking the kit apart was a nightmare. Putting the kit back on, yeah. which you've also done, was also a nightmare. At the end of the day, the car looks amazing. Let's not waste any more time. Thank yeah. you for doing that. Let's show it, man. That was, a, it, that was yeah. a very weird handshake. Uh, here we go, you guys. You ready for this? The 720 GTR lives again. We're getting close now to having this bad boy back on the streets. Three, two, one, boom. Let's take off what Dave describes as the massive McLaren condom. Here we go. Here we go. Thoughts? Guys, what do you think? Let me point out some of my favorite details on this car. First of all, let's just stand back and have a look at it. It looks amazing. Even though it right now is basically the 720 GTR Storato, it's in four x four mode because there's no weight in the car. It's created the look I was always trying to get. This time, finally, finally, I do not have to paint the car. That was way more of a nightmare. We actually had to paint the car twice. Weird reaction with the UV light. It was making the car kind of blotchy. And until the car completely off-gassed and evened out, it was so bizarre. It looked like my car had like some sort of a disease. Now with the help of an Ozatech, we've developed my version of the Lark color in a vinyl. So you guys can have a Ozatech. You can actually get this color. Tons of people have done their version or just completely wrap their car in it, and I haven't seen a bad version. We've seen Mustangs, oh, yeah. we've seen all sorts of cars, yeah. 720s. Yeah, that's right, this is the first time this color's been on the 720. That's the irony, is we <laughs> developed crazy. the color not knowing that the motor was gonna have a blown head gasket, and we finally now have the color on the 720 GTR. I know a bunch of you were hoping I was gonna do the Fina livery, but let's face it, this is what the car was meant for, this is what we're going with, maybe I have the Fina livery for you on a future car, stay tuned for that. Let's celebrate the 720 GTR B being that much closer to actually being back on the road. Lots of little details. First of all, this is a wide body kit on it. It has a lot of different elements that we decided to change on this variant. Let's see if you can notice them. First of all, let's go to the front. If you look at the front of this car, it has this massive carbon fiber front splitter right here. At first, I thought I was going to go ahead and even wrap these, which we did, and I didn't like it. And the reason why I thought we would do that, if you actually look right here at the P1, it's hard to tell in the photo, actually. So you can't tell here, but it has these pieces that come down right to the front splitter that are this color. It just didn't look good. So we peeled this off, left it exposed carbon, left this exposed carbon, but wrapped as far as the lip and looks really cohesive. It looks good. Again, we did your guys' favorite headlight sockets. I think this looks amazing. It's a must. And then up here, we had to choose what was gonna stay carbon. There's a lot of exposed carbon. We kept these factory style vents that were already in the hood right from the 720. But what we decided to do is wrap all of the inside of here because this hood has a bit of that Senna design in it. I just didn't wanna leave it exposed because on the P1, they actually wrap it. And it works out perfectly because if you look really close, the wrap actually goes down into that crevice and then up exactly 
how the boys here at PFS did it. And let me tell you, out of the whole car, George was saying, this part was the hardest part on the entire project to wrap because of the way he had to wrap all inside here and make this line look cohesive. And honestly, I think he nailed it, man. Absolutely killed it. We also had carbon exposed louvers when this car was white. I chose to wrap the louvers because there's no carbon louvers on the P1 GTR. So I chose to do that for a cohesive level of continuity for the look. I actually like it. On the GTR and LM edition Senna and stuff, they actually paint these anyhow. So I think it goes with the McLaren look. So this is the original windshield banner. That's cool. And cannot come off. This That's is the cool. original one. This has been on here for like two years. So that stayed. This was a very tricky piece to wrap as well because now wide bodied, this has got a huge gap. They had to figure out what they were gonna do with the scalloping angles, get the mirror incorporated again. Again, this is a wrap versus the last time we did this, we painted the car. It's a very different way of approaching how to put this all together. This is a new piece. This McLaren logo-esque side vent. The swoosh. The swoosh. This is part of the wide body kit from Duke Dynamics. So again, this is a one-off kit. There's only two 720s in the entire world with this wide body kit. And mine is different than the other one because mine has the big chassis mounted wing and a few other little things that are different than the one other car that Creative Bespoke did, the purple one. And no engine. The other one probably is a... The other one, yeah, yeah. This is the lightest, Thanks, the lightest McLaren in the world. <laughs> yeah, it's the no. lightest 720 in the world. Yeah. I'll tell you that. Ever. We chose to keep this exposed and not do the gray over it. Tell me what you guys think about that. Obviously, we have the massive side skirt. We have all the logos in the right places. The 720 GTR on the door. The AL13. The YSOB. Our Inoza Tech. We put Because Race Car, kind of like on the Evo 2. So we have that there. And we have this massive wing. And this wing, this chassis mounted wing is significantly larger than the original one I had on my car, which was from Vorsteiner. So they had to incorporate how to make that McLaren 720 GTR work. Plus it's actually a double foil style wing. This is very accurate to the exact wing that comes on the P1 GTR where my last wing wasn't that accurate. It was something that Vorsteiner designed simply for the 570 kit that they had built. Luckily, we, I don't even know how we made that work, but it's- trend trendsetter now, because now there's like a dozen car 720s running around with, with that. that that wing, right? Oh, yeah. You're welcome, Vorsteiner. I want my cut. <laughs> As Dave would say, give me my taste. By um, the way, the only way to truly appreciate this kit now, we need to get a stock 720 and park them next to each other and look between the two. Yeah. It's, it's like you see it and you, okay, cool. But it's so much different and wider Massive. and wilder. It's like the old version on steroids. 100%. If we come around the back, this is a really cool shot right here if you guys want to take it all in because you can really appreciate the styling of this kit along with the P1 GTR up on the wall. So you get a really good idea that it actually has very similar lines, yet at the same time, it has a little taste of that Elva because that's what Duke was going for with the back end. It just works so well. It really does. Now, I cannot wait to get this car on the road and go for a drive because like I said right now, it's a little bit of a four by four, but you know what? It definitely deserves after this much time, a freaking montage. You know what they say, it's not what's on the outside, it's what's on the inside that counts. You got nothing. And honestly, this car, right now, it's what's on the outside. This is very much a vanity car. If you guys want to help right now, go to Instagram, go to Gantani, and leave a comment to Alex, encouraging him politely to get the motor done. Yeah, that's a good idea. Just go to Gantani's Instagram account and say, Alex, please get the 720 GTR motor done. Yeah. Alex has been slightly distracted lately because Alex got a Revolto allocation. And he's famous on TikTok now. Which, by the way, good for him because that car is extremely limited and hard to get. People, in fact, who got an allocation, like our friend James, Mr. JWW, didn't even get their car. He was one of the first people to place an order for that car. And the reason is there is a carbon fiber shortage. Who knew? Carbon of the fibers, this isn't short in supply. We got enough carbon fiber to make this kit. Thank goodness for that. Go to Alex's Instagram and politely say, hey Alex, DD fam would love to see the 720 GTR motor back in the car. Right now, right now. Right now, as Jason would say. Right now. Hey, we have another big reveal. Dude, huge reveal. The biggest reveal we've ever seen, not only on DD, but probably the internet. Ever? Yeah. 
What are we talking about? The Bentley. I got some more exciting news for you guys, and that is, yes, Mia will be coming back to the channel this week so we can continue on the car shopping spree. Also, in other news, somebody else is coming to the channel. This guy. No. So Jason, no. we've been talking to him for a very long time about coming and doing some stuff on the channel. He's as DD as it gets. Recently had some things open up here at PFS, so he'll have some spare time to come and hang out with the boys some more, very much like what we did at Car Week. Oh, so much fun. You're excited? Bro, I'm so oh, excited. Oh, should we initiate him in the parking lot? We need to no, initiate him. we already him. did that. We already <laughs> did that. We already did that already. I put out a post and I was blown away by yeah. your guys' poll. It was a poll in the community tab and it said, what is the top model or manufacturer cars that we should bring to the channel? So I put this on our behind the scenes channel. If you haven't subscribed already, go right now and smash the subscribe button on Daily Driven Exotic Stories. It is the behind the scenes channel. It's more raw dog. 50,000 of you. Yeah. Went and voted. I had Lamborghini, Porsche, McLaren, Ferrari, or others comment below. Guess what won by a landslide out of the four that I selected? Porsche. What? Winner for me, a 67%. You guys better not be lying to me. Yeah. You sons of bitches. We'll find you. Get her a guess, GT. Guess what the number two <laughs> one was? Mm. Look what everybody keeps saying. Aston Martin. Is this? Aston Martin. What is this? Aston Martin. Aston Martin. It's like an accounting There's convention a whole in the comments but section. Aston Martin. So, this guy is a huge Watt fan. Aston Martin fan, what do you think? Why is that, Jason? Yeah, Why do you love them? Tell us. It's great. It's an exotic car at an entry level price point, but. Have you a, seen the price of a brand new Aston Martin? No, no. Entry level uh, price not. point? No, no, no. Holy sh. Jason. Second hand or a third hand, which is the owner like me. I can't afford it, right? And also, Aston Martin's a gentleman's car. Everyone respects the brand. And you guys haven't touched that in Aston Martin yet, so it's perfect. Yeah, because we're not respectable. So we had to bring someone respectable yeah. onto the brand to drive and build a respectable car like Aston Martin. tall in the channel. Real oh, quick. Oh, is that what it? We no, no, no. people. Yeah. Explain to somebody what the entry level price is where they could go and start with an Aston oh, Martin, because yeah. they are actually quite quite affordable. Absolutely. So I had my first Gen 1 starting point. Now you can get one in like the 40000 range. Forty thousand yeah. dollars so i don't know what aston martin we're going to start with so we're going to start a new little debate in the comment section let me know what aston martin should jason get to build on daily driven exotics okay now go home yeah. to your wife yeah hey, child. Go. stop hanging around you gotta go bro you know, what is it god it's good Let's focus are all off let's go get the bentley oh we're here we're here you're probably wondering where i'm going i don't want to park in the sun oh christ Dude, it's so it's so hot here it's so hot. in Orange County, and we're not complaining. Even we're though complaining. the words we're speaking are complaining. We're complaining. But I wore pants today. Are you, guys, are you ready for probably the biggest? I'm being sarcastic right now. Sometimes I need a disclaimer that says Dave's being sarcastic. As you know, I had a big problem with the wheels, and Nick said I have a solution. It charged me $800 for my credit card. So I want to see what his solution is right now. Your personal credit card. Yeah, that sucks, man. The debt is piling up. By the way, are we gonna do some wheel action on the minivan or leave these? We just lost a thousand dollars thanks to Yorkie for losing our key. I don't know if we can afford honestly anything to go towards the wheels at the moment. Hey, Mr. Man in charge. By the way, Damon, we might have an option right here for a certain somebody. I mean, that's a very expensive GT3, but that is sick in a chalk gray. Sick. That's a lot newer than what we were talking about for Mia, my daughter. But it is a GT3. A pretty badass. As it comes, we're gonna tear it apart. Pricing, are they still going dumb on these? No, they've calmed down already. Everything's okay. calmed down. Yeah. Dude, honestly, I think the whole market's crashing. I think to buy a car right now, unless you had like an allocation or you could get something that was really, really, really hard to get, I say you don't spend any money on cars right now because everything is going this way. Have you noticed I, that, Nick? Yeah. I think if you wanted to buy a car, seriously, you wait nine to 12 months, and I think everything's gonna be like 35% cheaper. Yeah. Mark my words. And if not, we're gonna start by saying that on the internet to start a crash. So well, we can Ray, buy cars cheaper. Uncle Ray called saying, stop making those videos, you're killing the market. I said, it doesn't work that way, Uncle yeah, Ray, man. The market is what it is, because people don't have borrowing power anymore. They're dumping things that they don't need, like exotic cars, friendships, boats, you name it. Before we get to your it's insanely reveal. crazy car, that is sick. Is that the same yeah. SV? Right? But the color? It? No, that's the paint. This is actually painted for a scandal. Yeah. This is a scandal. Bro. How that's, sick is this? This thing is sick. This thing is sick. That's a great color. I love this color. Wow. Matt August. 
has an SV for sale. Love it. And it's actually a really good deal. Coupe, not a roadster. It is not Scandal, it's white. $6.99 Canadian. Yeah. You wanna know what the math is? Yeah, yeah. 515. Oh wow. Should we get an That's SV on the channel? Comment below. They're sick. It'd be cool to have everything. Like be cool. get an SV Mercy, SV Aventador, SVJ. Yeah. I love the SVJ. It's the best. And the best. The Mercy that you have, the build. Dude, dude, you wait. I cannot wait for the Mercy build. You love anything that ends in a J. Can we reveal your car? I don't know if the internet's ready. We redid the red stripe. Yeah! It's a different tone of red. Nick, what'd you do to my car? <laughs> no, what, 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 what was the problem? What'd you do? <laughs> we had to redo the rims. What happened with the wheels? The rims got a little dirty, and then someone cleaned them with acetone or something. That's a no-no. Something got cleaned, and it got damaged. Long story short, we redid the wheels. And we powder changed the color them. to what? Semi-gloss. Semi-gloss! Right. Two of them! Yeah. Yeah, it's baby. Pretty much the same. <laughs> it looks pretty much the same. And then we put a nice, you know, little ceramic coat on there so that it. Uh, Let's feel it now. Because we're quite poor before. Yeah. So, ceramic coated to help somewhat protect the insane amount of brake dust from the steel brakes on this car. Yes. However, we are ordering a set of carbon pads that should reduce the brake dust. Yeah. Nice. On some level. Sure. They're, they're like only four dollars, and it reduces it by like eighty percent allegedly. By the way, Bentley of Newport, it's not twelve hundred dollars per rotor. It's like twelve thousand dollars per rotor, and they're back ordered. There are aftermarket options, but for now, just change the pad and see how that does. I want one of these at our shop. He's selling this one right? for sale. Yeah. Well, actually, I'm gonna have PPF here and tinting over here, and then vinyl here. By so the way, this you do the ceramic coating here. Yeah. Yeah, I can feel it on the floor. Oh, a little no, no, bit no. of overspray. No, no, no. Well, that's, there, that's right? the tire shine. Man. Yeah. Coating we did over like, here. Ah! No. Lawsuit to Nick. But this right here is going over there with two more. And then oh, you're getting more. Right so you can do a wider one. It's a little tight. So we're going to have it go from that pillar all the way like to Star the Wars. Dude, but seriously, how cool would it be to have like eight of these in the HQ yeah, for, yeah. for each car parking stall? Yeah. Just I mean, the car that. looks amazing it in the lighting. Sad. By the way, the Bentley is so, so sick. We are going to reinstall the front splitter this week and build the stays for it. My cast is on that. But really, the next big move for this car is the GT3 kit, which we are diligently working on in the background. Yes. It might have taken three years for me to get my race kit for the Mercy. We will not let it take three years to get Dave's race kit for the Bentley. We really want to make that project happen. It really just comes down to time and money, you guys. Yeah, and I mentioned the audience. We don't want to play the game the car is down for three years. No. Because we do our due diligence. The person that installs the kit will have experience installing these kits. It won't be Joe Blow down the street in Compton saying, I'll take a stab at it. I'm a high That's school exactly girlfriend. why I took my mercy after doing tons of research to the guys at DTM Auto Body because they had already done Dean's front end and they did such a good job on it. They have the experience. They know what they could do a little bit better to refine that process. And they quoted me four to six weeks to get that whole kit on, which is not unrealistic. It's a lot of work. The lesson is this. Qualify, qualify, qualify. Yeah. And remember everybody's full of shit. Except for me. Cold start? Have nice. you ever heard of Bentley with a cold start like this before? I think not. All right, let's see. Let's go. It's probably gonna be pretty loud considering it is a driving nothing except for my fiance's Range Rover or my T-Rex when I had it, which is now basically sold. And I come back down here, re-experience the car for the first time, and I have to say, I love the Bentley. It's so much fun. The suspension is completely dialed in now. It's a perfect ride height. And I wanted to give you guys an update on the actual GT3 kit. We are in full swing on that process. Now, I can buy the kit. That's not the issue. 
maybe get a deal on the price through James, maybe not, whatever. It's about 70,000 pounds. The issue is putting the kit on the car. Now, we all know it's not a bolt-on kit. There's things I want to retain. I want to retain the air suspension. So right now, as it stands, I actually have to relocate the entire system into the trunk. So we're trying to figure out how to best do that. And it's not that simple. Everything's super sensitive. So right now, we're trying to figure out, okay, cool. Step number one, move the air suspension. Step number two, the engine placement. We're not going to lower the motor or move the motor. We have to adapt the hood to fit. That we can't solve until we have the actual kit. Now, if M Sport won't install it, I need to find a shop who's done it before. Lots of buy shops have offered, but again, I don't want the car to be gone for years. It has to be done three months with a solid plan before we get the kit. James is still talking to M Sport to see if they'll put the kit on. It's not that likely. Now, there's other shops in the UK that have experience. It's likely the car will go to the UK or Europe. Probably not gonna be done in America, which is a cooler story. I'm down with it. Well, already it's better. Like that was a solid 30 miles, and with the old wheels, they were so porous that would be black already. So we get the brake pads. It's stuck a lot more, and the yeah. ceramic coating really does help. It does. Because we had it done on my wheels on the KB43 car, which also has steel brakes. You can actually like dust off your car and not have to go full like detail on it. We we'll get all that off. You just don't want to spray them when your brakes are hot. <laughs> True. It'll work. I don't know. And if you guys recall my R8, I did those like lime green wheels. It was the same problem. They actually did stain because back then we weren't doing ceramic coatings and whatnot. And ultimately, if you do want something crazy like this, you do want ceramic brakes, but we'll make the best of it. In the meantime, we're back at the HQ. We've been going for a little I while know what now. We do. We should put ceramic brakes on the van. Not your not your Bentley. I mean, they're both CGTs. <laughs> It's actually true. Isn't that funny? Continental GT. CGTs tend to just follow us around now. We have not been here in a hot minute. And I haven't seen the uh, twin turbo F12 in a while. And it's exciting to see it. Actually, you know what's even crazier? I have not seen it with the fenders on in a while. Look at that. They've had these all off. And right now? I wouldn't uh, take hey. that for a high speed run right now. That, uh, I bet that would give the Senna a run for its money for rattles. Bro, it is looking crazy. I mean, there's plumbing happening. You can see obviously a little churn lines going in right now. All jokes aside, no YouTuber bullshit. Is it possible that when this car is done? Oh, I know, I know. They actually send a letter. Is it possible? Maybe. The question is, it wouldn't be for modifying a Ferrari. You're allowed to do that. The question is, are we damaging the brand's reputation by modifying the Ferrari and keeping the badges on it? That's where they get pissed off. They don't want you to like devalue the brand. Well, the F1 team's doing that for them. <laughs> That's one way to get a cease and desist. <laughs> it's to tell Dave to shut his mouth. You know what I'm really excited for? There's a car I miss a lot. This car. Oh, the Squad of Corsa? Yeah, it looks good. <laughs> I haven't driven that in over a month because the car, I didn't drive it once. Well, because we gave it away for someone else to drive. To abuse. Jason. Who curved the wheel. Jason and James broke the window. Crashed to the, yeah, broke the window. Wrecked the rear diffuser. What happened? Awful scuffed the front Do you want to actually, do you actually want to see? And Dave this, goes. And Jason's my homie and I just bust his balls. Dave goes, the Squad is not even that low. Dude, look how low that car is. Well, it's, it's really low. It's factory suspension, FYI, but the kit makes it lower. That is low. That is normal ride height for the Santa. Which is also pretty low, but significantly higher. That's probably twice as high off the ground based on whatever the distance is between the ground to the bottom of this is probably almost twice on the Senna. So damages, the window they gave me, those are all scratches in the glass. Oh, they are. It's not dirt. Couch, didn't they? All over. So this How's is that possible. Oh, listen. That's my finger now. Yeah. That's so why driving somebody. That was eight hundred dollars worth of money. I was driving somebody on the other side of that lens. Absolutely nuts when I scratch it like that. It's like oh, yeah. nails on a chalkboard. The wheels curve, so we can tell that's fresh right there. Right there, the little Damn kiss. It. The little kiss. And then the worst part is the fins. It had a bit of damage before. She's uh, she's lost a, hey. a few mils. This is daily driven, man. Oh, of course. This is daily driven exotics. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Just a little secret. A little one. Some new cars coming to the channel. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. And actually, like, actually, no. Well, it might be bullshit. Mm -mm, maybe. We're going to Vietnam next week. And one concern we have as YouTubers is internet connection. So oh, yeah. I, for you nerds out there, I did some nerd sh You want to see what I ordered? Apparently it's here. Well, some real sh it is. You just turn your camera phone light on so you could vlog in the dark. Yeah. That's some real YouTube. You want to see the transition? Boom. Boom, right? Boom. You want to see the transition? So, the lights on in the hallway already for you. We should technically have 
in my office a special package. Well, you, you contacted Elon Musk. I mentioned him on Twitter, on or X as he calls it now. On his private line. Oh, it's right here. Oh, oh, oh. On his private right line. There. This is a game changer. Jesus. No, 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 no. It's actually I, delicate. I, I bet you, I bet you. This is the most important thing that we could have. Oh, you're killing me. You know how hard it was to get this? Can you guys guess what it is? No, 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 no. What the hell? Oh no, these are my shoes. That's not what I ordered. That's not what we're after. These are nice. Take two. Hey, all right, found, all right, it. found it. We, found we can it. organize one day. I found it. Super careful. So this is very expensive. It's very uh, new. It was very hard to get. I had to pull some favors, but this is going to make sure you guys get videos when we're in Vietnam. Look at that. Freaking satellite some sh bro. Starlight Mini. From our friend Elon. Starlight. Is that Starlight? You said Starlight. This is a Starlink. So it comes with all this cable, which I ordered a new shorter version of this. Obviously a mounted camera outside. So do you know where this will go when we're on Gumball? I got a guy who's building a custom mount for this to go in any car's windshield. So basically the mount, it'll sit in the mount, he's saying some black vinyl wrap for yeah. glitter. This works as I'm gonna be, my mind gonna be blown. Dude, this will go in every car we have. Dude, 100 megabyte down whenever you're driving. Watch a Netflix movie. <laughs> or watching your latest DDE vlog. So this is one step. I also have other things, surprises for the actual event. You can only prepare so much. Well, the biggest issue is if you guys don't remember, when we were in the Middle East and other adventures that we've been on, where we're in a car all day, every day, we get in late and then something doesn't work with uploading the footage. What happens is Dave ends up traveling with the laptop on his lap and we've had to like tether to a phone and use data. It's been a big hassle and we wanna make sure it's not as much of a hassle this time around. So this is Dave's plan. Let's see if it works. Quick little nerd break for our video. Now apparently the Starlink Mini is mobile. You pay an extra fee and you can use it while moving, but apparently before you couldn't move. And it has 100 down, 40 up average, what I've read online. Now as a YouTuber, I don't care about download, it's upload. We upload the footage, it goes to Jamie in Canada, he edits it, puts on the internet for you guys, and that's what matters, and that's the biggest challenge on the road. Certain places you only get five megs out, so a vlog can take 20 hours to upload. Big challenge when you're daily uploading. Nailed it. All right, so here's a plan. I'm gonna test it out right now on the Bentley. All you have to do basically is plug in the power supply. It actually has an ethernet support on there, which is cool. Oh, wow, this goes on here. Like that? All right, we are currently connecting. This bad boy is talking to the aliens right now to figure out what the plan is. You ready? For the first speed test for our new no. Starlink. It's all done, yeah. That's crazy. It's on the Bentley. Was it pretty easy? Yeah, it's really easy. Really? Yeah. That's hella convenient. Okay. And we could literally, like on the Bentley, because the roof is metal, you could theoretically mount some infrared rally cars in the future, get more time. That's crazy. So, all that matters though is the speed, because it's slow, it's dumb. Okay. Okay, ready for this? This is, uh, yeah, this is on the fly here. I just walked out here for this. 100 up, as you said. Let's download. 100 down. But we don't care about down. We don't care about down. We don't care about down. We want to know. I'm sorry about how our lives work. <laughs> <laughs> That ain't gonna work. So just for perspective for you guys, that would be... That would take two days or more. Four How days. the hell? Four days. Oh, if that's the case, this is going back to Elon, to his window of his house. 